So I have a book coming out in less than three months on April 19th called Go Gently, Actionable Steps to Nurture Yourself and the Planet that is available for pre-order, which I will put the link in uh, the comments below uh, if you feel inclined to do that. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so the book is essentially a pretty autobiographical story of what got me interested in the climate movement, obviously, biggest reason was being absolutely terrified by the devastation that was happening to the climate and also how disproportionately that was affecting people across the world. So I wanted to get involved, I wanted to understand what could I be doing, how could I be part of the change I wanted to be seeing. So this first started in lots of sort of larger, bigger, more global sort of actions, uh, predominantly with Greenpeace, also Rainforest Alliance, then my own group that I set up, Waste Watch, and often these actions I was taking were a lot, lot more focused on the larger sort of change, like change in policy, reforming policy, whether that was also voting the right elected officials in to represent people and the planet and just these kind of, yeah, more larger things, focusing on corporations and how to challenge their practices. But I would often come home from these sort of bigger, larger things and I would look around me and I'd look at my habits in my day-to-day -day life and they're just felt a little bit sort of not in line with each other. I was like, how can I, you know, I care massively about the health of our oceans and I know the pollution that's happening with single-use plastics, but then I'd come home and be like, wow, single-use plastics are all over my day-to-day -day life, as they unfortunately are. So how could I, in my own way, begin to lower my use of single-use plastics so that while I was campaigning through Greenpeace and campaigning for ocean health, I felt like even at least in my own day-to-day -day life, I was trying as much as I could to sort of reflect what I cared about and sort of be true to my values. So the book is about that, basically. How you can take these often quite overwhelming, larger, big-scale issues and bring them down to a scale that we can comprehend and understand. So anyway, that is a quick reminder of Go Gently, the book. It's a very colourful, full of photographs, illustrations, also lots of words, and very much in my personal first-person voice.